Hey guys, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of November collective reading. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So I'm going to give you guys a heads up in advance. You guys know I always do a spirit animal and I always get a song that's associated with the message that I'm meant to give you all. Typically, you know, I'll only get a couple of phrases or a couple words from the song that stands out because that, you know, that's associated with the message. But I got a whole first verse, middle verse, you know, second going into the second verse. Now, I'm not going to sing it or play the song or anything like that, but I will read it because it definitely resonates with this message for sure, hands down. This has been in my dreams for the past couple days. Um, this morning I woke up with that message very strong in my heart. And actually, I, feel, I was excited, very ready to give you guys this message. I feel nothing but peace. I feel peace. I feel happiness. I feel strong. I feel like I am being divinely guided to walk a certain path. And I feel like a lot of you all, if you're attracted to this reading, you will as well, for sure. If you have fear in your heart from anything going on in this world, thinking about the future and what could and what might I'm not going to tell you because I feel like that's rude. And I had to check myself the other day when I was telling people like, well, if you believe in God and you believe in the most high, you believe that you are protected, then why are you worrying? I still feel that way, but I also have to be empathetic enough to understand that that's a reality. People are scared. People are worried. People are in, in fear-based energy. As long as you deal with those emotions and don't stay there, that's, that's what we're talking about here. Don't stay in anything that's fear-based because... That lowers your vibration. And when your vibration is low, you can't hear the most high. You can't be connected to divinity. You can't. Not when your vibration is low like that. You're actually repelling the light. You get what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and jump into it. And I want to first tell you what I heard. I heard somebody's trying to play God and God is not pleased. That is very strongly the message I heard. Somebody is trying to play God and God is not pleased. And it's not just a somebody is somebody is. It's multiple people that are trying to play God. Okay. And God ain't pleased. And they're going to they, they gonna feel the wrath. This is about to happen. It's, it's already happened. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people on the back end who are doing a lot of PR work, who are doing a lot to try to hide things and keep things from coming out. Hush money. You're going to hear about that stuff too. It's major. And some people are going to even risk their lives. Like, they're like, I don't even care. Because I, I get a lot of people have been threatened as well. And I feel like people are like, I don't even care. I'm not going to sit here and be bullied. I'm going to speak out. Everybody's going to know my truth. Everybody's going to know your truth. People are getting exposed. You know why? Because the most high is not going to allow it to stay in silence. It's not going to be allowed to stay in the dark. That's, that's number one. So the song that I heard when I was meditating over the energy is Rebel by Annie Wilson. Okay. And he happens to be a Pisces. So you can be dealing with a Pisces, someone rising Venus individual. Also Piscean energy. Whenever you look up the traits of a Piscean, you always see like one of the main things you'll see is very intuitive, very sentimental, very empathic, but also sees the world through rose colored glasses. And that's no shade. You guys, Pisceans, don't get mad. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know it's the truth. We see that a lot. So it's no shade towards anyone. That's one of the main character descriptors that you're going to see with Piscean energy. When they talk about seeing things through rose-colored glasses, that's talking about wanting to see the positive in things or wanting just to see things the way that you want to see it versus then how it actually is. Those glasses are coming off. You can still lay in a bed of roses, but they won't be covering your eyes to where you can't see things for what it truly is. And that's, that's the truth. And when I say lay in a bed of roses, in case you all don't know, roses have the highest vibrational frequency of love-based energy of any plant. We are in a love-based energy. It don't feel like it right now, but we are. It's being activated, and, and I'm, I feel peace, and I feel like you all will too. Very soon, you could feel anxiety from people around you and things like that, but overall, you're going to realize, like, oh, it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> it just ain't. So, I want to read those lyrics, and I'm going to read those lyrics after I talk about, mm, I'm trying to see if I should say, no, I was going to read it after I did the spirit animal, but I'm going to read the lyrics first, because the spirit animal... Um, I feel like res it's going to break down why these lyrics were important for me to read for you all. And that's why I said I want to give you guys a heads up. I, it, it, the intro could be a bit lengthy because this is part of what I was meant to give you all. It is. So I'm going to share that with you. But I'm going to read these lyrics, okay? Because I want, I feel like somebody needs to hear this. Somebody may be lo losing faith, losing hope. I've had a lot of people, and I've even you know talked about this in previous readings. A lot of people have talked to me 
and asked me, like, why are you so calm about everything that's going on, especially with women and things like that? And I'm like, because I know. I, I can already see what's getting ready to happen. I don't know everything. I don't claim to every, know everything. That would be so arrogant of me. And that would be abuse of my gifts. But the things that I've been shown and, and, I've, and I've been told, like, oh, this is going to happen. I have confidence in it. I have faith in it. I don't, I don't worry about stuff like that. When God has shown me something, how dare I question it? How dare I be in fear? You know, so that's what I want to pass on to you all. And I'm not going to tell you all how dare you be in fear because you're still, for a lot of people, they're still coming to terms with certain stuff or trying to make peace with or understand it. The downloads I got was so clear that literally I felt like I was already walking in, in those visuals that I've seen playing out, right? And so again, this is why I'm sharing this with you. So again, the name of the song is Rebel. The lyrics go, who talk to a man that they can't see? Who finds power in an old book they read? In a world full of doubt, who still believes? Who talks to a man that they can't see? That's the first verse. Um, and then she goes on to say, call me crazy, call me a fool. I ain't scared because I know the truth. This is why I don't fear. Just like what she said, call me crazy. People like me will be called crazy. Intuitives will be called crazy. People who say they have faith over fear will be called crazy because they'll think that we're being delusional because we're not in fear-based energy. The, the quote-unquote powers that be in the physical realm, they want you to vibrate in fear because that lowers your vibration. And when your vibration is low, guess what? Now you're seeking help. Now you're seeking an answer. You don't go within or you don't go there to get clarity. You're going to external sources and that's when you give away your power. That's a problem. Um... So call me crazy, call me a fool. I ain't scared because I know the truth. I ain't going to run. I ain't going to hide. I ain't going to change my mind. I ain't going to change my mind. And once you guys get to the point where you realize, like, this is all propaganda. This is all bullshit. You're not going to change your mind about trusting the higher sources. That's, that's the truth. Then she goes to say, when the crowd goes one way, I go the other. Now we're getting into the rebellious part. When the battle rages, I won't back down. The gates of hell are going to shake and tremble. In the name of Jesus, going to stand my ground. If a rebel is what it takes, a rebel is what I'll be. Because the one I follow was a rebel, just like me. Now, this is talking, when, she, when they talk about the old book and things like that, they're talking about, she's talking about the Bible. She's like a Christian or a religious singer or whatever. She's 22. She looks much older. Not in a shady way, but you can just sense that she has, you know how people have old souls and it kind of plays out in their energy. If you look this woman up again, her name is um, what? Annie Wilson. Right. Yeah. She um she has an old soul about it. Like she just has this knowledge. She has you can tell she has a connection with the most high and she doesn't question it. Even those those lyrics are saying that. And then the second part of it, after she says that, cause I know cause um because the one I, I follow was a rebel was a rebel just like me. And then she says rebel, rebel, rebel. Then after that, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna read the whole exact song, I'm gonna stop right here because that next verse it says Got a long line of rebels in my family tree. The ones who weren't afraid to make history. David to Goliath. Daniel to the lion. Moses pushing back the sea. Got a long line of rebels in my family tree. We are the tree. We are the branches. Okay, so when she talks about David and Goliath, Daniel and the lion, the tree, the roots, the, the beginning of everything, the beginning of time, okay? We are the branches. We are extensions. We are, you know, those are ancestors if, if you believe in that, whatever. You guys know I always share that. I'm not religious, um, but I believe in the most high. I believe in all, everything that God creates. But some things just resonate. You know what I mean? You don't have to believe verbatim every single thing that you're taught, but I believe a lot of that resonates. Our ancestors were rebels also. Like when you think about those who gave up and they, they didn't keep up a fight, she's mentioning people who kept fighting Regardless of the oppression, regardless of the things that they were facing, regardless of the things that were said, you won't win, you'll be defeated. They kept fighting. If you think about the story with Daniel and the lions, then, and we know these are met metaphors, supposedly, but if you think about it, if you are throwing the lions, then immediately you may dash from fear alone because you just feel like, I'm, how am I going to be the lion? He didn't give up. And, he, and, and the story in the Bible goes, he won. He, the, the lion did not defeat him, right? Right now, in, in just what's going on with us universally, right, we are in the belly of the beast, the lion, right? And the lion is always seen to be the victor, the winner, right? The lion comes out with this massive roar, which is what the person who wants to play God right now is doing, right? 
And it's like automatically people feel like, well, this person has power because the lion is the king of the jungle. But I'll say this over and over and over again. There's only one king. <laughs> right? We are kings and queens. We have birthright of that. But there's only one supreme king. Right? So this is where it goes to where I was telling you, like, somebody's trying to play God and God is not pleased. Now, go on extending from that. Keep in mind, we are the branches of the trees. When trees grow, they grow branches. So we're going to keep you growing. We're going to keep evolving. Um, but trees have roots. So you have to stay rooted. You have to stay grounded in this whole situation. That has to happen. It has to take place. And it will. We, we will not walk in fear. No one should be walking in fear. Whether, whatever. And, I'm, and now I'm, I'm talking about, can, you know, um, politics. I said in my last collective, I wasn't going to talk about it. But every single time I tried to avoid it. I was being reminded by spirit, like, you're not doing what we're telling you to do and giving these messages. So I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to talk about it directly. I am talking about what's going on with us as far as our nation and its world leader. And leaders that's associated with it. Because I'm seeing a lot of crazy stuff associated with that. Again, I, I shared this <coughs> previously. And if you guys are new to the channel, you didn't see it. I don't care about who won. Because I'm going to still follow, you know, what I'm, I'm, I know I'm supposed to do in my life path. I'm not going to just give up and stop living because these people say that you're not going to have this and we're going to snatch that and we're going to make this this way. Keep living. That's what you have to do. Either you're going to keep living or you're just going to check out. You Either way, you have free will so you can do what you want to do. But for those of you watching this, you ain't going to check out. In fact, you're going to rebel. And I'm not talking about doing evil things or stupid stuff that's going to get you locked up or anything like that. You're not going to submit to shit that you know in your heart does not resonate with you. That you know God wouldn't want you to be in... in dominated by negative forces and all types of bullshit and, and division like you know divisive energy that's not what we're supposed to be because here's the thing the saying is in order to conquer you must divide and that's what they're doing right now i'm seeing a lot of racial bullshit a lot of spiritual attacks for people who are engaging in that type of stuff you are already a part of the problem and you are losing already because what you don't know is that even if we don't like each other, I don't care if, if people hate this race of person or that race of person, which is foolish, but even if you do, or if they hate your religious beliefs, the ultimate problem is somebody who's trying to play God. We have somebody right now in office who's trying to play God. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to keep it funky. I don't care if you don't like it, unfollow. But hear me out, right? He's trying to play God. And for those of you who feel is is not the case... Do you all know that he wrote, he rewrote a version of his, his, like his own version of the Bible. Donald Trump wrote his own version of the Bible. Are you all aware of that? Look it up. And the last I seen it was being shared or sold for like a thousand dollars. I don't know what, what the thing is about it now, but look it up. And then there was a lot of spiritual and religious, um, teachers and things like that and scholars who was reading and they're like oh my god everything he's saying is blasphemous like he's changed so many different things that it's like how dare you so if you think about it the bible is supposed to be the words of god for him to turn around and change this stuff and and he's you know making it to his fancy then you're trying to play god and that is not going to be allowed and because you're doing that you're going to be overthrown the most high is going to see to it that something is going to happen that this person's tyranny, because this tyranny is going to be overthrown. So this is why I tell you, when you feel like there's fear, 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 no, they need to fear us because there, everybody's going to, there's going to be upheaval of rebellion. There's going to be people fighting because there are diehard, like religious people who love God and, and they will not allow you to play with God's name or play with God's you know, word. And that's exactly what I'm, I'm understanding is happening here. There's only certain parts of it available online. Like if you Google that, that version of that Bible online, but otherwise, you know, they want you to buy it and things like that. And from what I, word I, I read, I was like, okay, this is interesting. Indeed. Go off. But guess what? You, you about to, you about to pay for trying to play some, play a role that you, you were not ordained, you know? So that's what I'm getting with that. Now with that, this takes me back to the spirit animal. So the spirit animal that I got was the Kraken. Okay. I first acknowledged it in, what was I watching? Um, Clash of the Titans. <laughs> Clash of the Titans. We are the Titans. Okay. If you really think about it, the clash of them, right? You got the government, you got the people that the government wants to govern over. It's going to be a clashing. 
remember when this happened, it was like, release the, if, you, if you've if you never watched it, it said release the, the Kraken. So the Kraken is like this sea monster. It's an octopus. It's a colossal octopus. And with that message I got, octopuses have eight legs, right? There's eight different things that's going to happen to society, okay, that is meant to destroy because the Kraken is just a massive tool of destruction. And with that, I do want to read the breakdown or the connection with the Kraken. So the Kraken is known for destroying ships, but the ships is not, you know, in theory, in the stories, like actual ships. What I heard is relationships. So the relationships with men, women, different races, things like that. They're trying to destroy these relationships with people. Again, divisive energy, right? So it's known for destroying ships and cities. It's a secretive energy and it can attack suddenly. The Kraken is a metaphor for the human consciousness, which is vast and mysterious, but can also be scary and unknown. Again, it's making me think about the clash of the Titans. We are the Titans. The government is the Titans. And it's a clash of these, this energy. I feel like the government thinks that people are just going to lay down and just deal with whatever and it's not going to happen. And that goes back to part where it says the consciousness, the human consciousness, which is vast, mysterious, but can also be scary and unknown. They're going to bow to the people. Something's going to happen. Quite a few things are going to happen where things, the systems are going to be overthrown. I said this before, and I'm going to say this again. The reason why I didn't give a damn about anything with that, that voting. And people don't want to hear this, but that was a ritual. This is why I didn't take part in that. It's a ritual. Anything that you do ritualistically or anything that you do consistently, it's a ritual. Every four years, what do you do? You vote. If you celebrated your birthday, because I see people all the time when I talk about certain things, they're like, I rebuke the witchcraft and I rebuke this. I rebuke, I rebuke. Okay, that's cool. Keep rebuking. But let me tell you something. If you celebrate your birthday... You have done a ritual every single day since every single year since you've been born. If you've celebrated your birthday every single year on the same day since you've been born, you have done a ritual every single day. Not every single day, but I keep getting every single day. So somebody's doing a ritual today. Somebody's birthday is today. But you've done a ritual every single year since you've been born. If you have celebrated your birthday on the same day every year, you have done a ritual ever since you were born, whether you know it or not. Read what a ritual is. Okay? If you pray every single day, you are doing a ritual. This is habit forming behavior. You are doing a ritual. Now, people hear rituals and they think the most negative, most nastiest things. That's up to you how you understand it. But just understand what a ritual is. Consistently doing something every day. When somebody does something ritualistically, if you go to work every single day, you punch in at 8 o'clock, you're ritualistically, you're doing that ritualistically. Every single day you're doing that. This is what people don't think. Only humans make things that aren't meant to be negative, negative. Like we, it's all about your intention and energy you put out there. And we have world leaders who are trying to play God, even rewriting the Bible and, and adding their own little sprinkle into the Bible. So now you're out here trying to play God and God is not pleased. So that's the message. And I'm telling you this right now, not pleased. So we have some names here. First, middle, last name, street name, business name, city, states, countries, put it where it resonates. So we have Jack, Scandinavian, Quaker. And this is interesting because like I said, it's a lot of stuff about religious, right? Religious beliefs and religion. I didn't know. I was like, what is Quaker? And I ain't talking about no damn Quaker Oaks. Don't do that. <laughs> so I heard Quaker and I was like, I don't know much about this. So I looked it up and it says a Quaker is a member of a religious society of friends so something about that may resonate with somebody i'm also getting someone works on an actual farm um or their family has farmland where they have grains and oats and they you know they harvest stuff like that i also got george kira orlando kevin penelope martin lee mckenzie rush sparrow someone's last name could be sparrow or you could actually be seeing the actual bird sparrow the bird um davenport Cruz, William, Naomi, Zoe, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and um, Northern, something, Northern State. I heard Northern State and then also Kentucky. Those areas may stand out for one reason or another. Something very transformative can happen with that. I also want to, like I said, with the octopus, the Kraken is just a colossal, you know, enormous monster of a um, octopus, eight legs. I'm being told again that eight stands out. We are in the universal year eight. Okay. 
whatever happens right now moving forward is going to pave the way for the next eight years, I even heard. Also, let's talk about, like I said, there's eight major things that's going to be changed or it's going to be, re I'm, I'm getting something reworded in history. It's We're going to make history. We will be in history books. I want you all to know that, right? I hope you know that. We'll be in history books. What we're going through right now, history books. <laughs> we're going to be in history books. But eight things, like it could be like how the domestic home lives of people have been changed, health care, um, the money system, um, just religious system, religious systems for sure. Because I've even seen that they're saying like they're going to make it the where religion is back in schools and things like that. It's eight different areas that's going to see very heavy changes. But again, it's also going to be heavy rebellion against certain things because people's freedoms are being snatched and people aren't just going to sit back and let it happen. That's not going to happen. So I know that was a long intro, but I have to share that with you all because this has been on my heart. Like I said, for the past couple of days, I keep having certain dreams about things that I'm meant to share with you all. And so I am. And so I had to do just that. So we're going to change cards from the top to the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to get the card that comes before and after the sun and the moon. And then we'll get clarifiers to, you know, break down and further explain those cards. I want to make sure I didn't have any more messages for y'all. <clears throat> One second. My apologies. I also want to bring up that we do have a full moon, November 15th. It will be illuminated at 429. Um, in certain areas, of course, you know, it won't be the same time everywhere. But I do, I will be doing a full moon reading. So make sure you guys check that out. Again, that is November 15th. Okay, I might do a full moon discount reading stuff because I just did one for 11 11 so I'm not sure I, whatever spirit tells me to do that's what I'll do okay <laughs> so let's get into your reading you got the six of swords immediately this made me think about the lyrics where she says when the crowd goes in one direction I'm gonna go in another so this is someone who's like even against other people's opinions even against what you know what may seem like the right thing someone's following their heart but not speaking too much on it because the swords are down sword of just sword down is no those swords are down, so not telling people what your intentions are, just making moves in silence. This is literally a card of making moves in silence, because it looks like she's sneaking off in the night. And the swords are down, so it's like not saying anything, just going for whatever it is that you know you're meant to do. And you're going to be protected. She has that cloak of protection on her. That blue color, that's protection. Male or female, you're going to be protected, okay? Yep, you're going to be protected. Star card, Aquarius energy, divinely protected. So again, we want the sun and the moon, the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for the collective. Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you have the death card, transformation, death and rebirth. There's all types of transformations that's getting ready to go on right now. You see how he has his shield up, which is a defense, you know, something for protection. I feel like someone is saying, like, a lot of people will be like, you know what, I will fight to the death of me. You literally have the death card here. You have Scorpio energy, we're still in Scorpio season as we speak. And this, and this all took place in Scorpio season with the things with the government and this big cycle that's getting ready to begin. There's a lot of people who are in fear. You see how she has her arms across her heart? But it's like, as you fear, messages are coming in to let you know that you are safe. I also talk about hidden knowledge, hidden wisdom, hidden clarity. It's flying towards or not away. So you have messages coming in. For a lot of you all, there's a feeling like, I don't know what to do. What am I going to do? Because she looks scared. She looks alone. Like, what am I going to do? And the messages are getting ready to come in. And remember, I was just talking about the crack and the crack in. It was like attacking the ships and the seamen. You got that ship right there. and But it doesn't look like there's attacks and it doesn't look like anything negative is, or harm is coming. I feel like a lot of people are assuming that something negative is going to happen. But your future is actually brighter or the future in general for all of us is much brighter than it appears. Straight up. And I say that with sheer and utter confidence that... The future is much brighter than people anticipate. I see a lot of stuff in the comment section on social media where people are saying like, oh my God, these next four years are going to be dreadful and blah, 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 blah. Well, if you're in that vibrational frequency, if you are vibrating like that person who wants to play God, then yeah, okay, maybe that's the case because that would be following a false idol. Why would you follow the narrative of somebody who, who don't have the right to have that type of power over you or anybody else? Like, be for real. Okay, let us shuffle. I just was told to do it again. Yeah, that's why. Because you're the manifester. Thank you. There's a change coming because we are manifestors. A magician is most definitely a rebel. You know why? Because they don't do things the way that most people do. They defy. 
gravity. They defy the limitations that are put on us. Like magicians aren't supposed to be able to do the things that they do or manifest the way that they do. They're defiant. Because a magician, if they followed the rules of what was told to, for them to do, they wouldn't use all the gifts and abilities that they have to create what it is they want. They wouldn't do that. And you all are magicians. You all are manifesting whatever it is you want to do in life. Whatever it is you want to be. How, whatever outcome you want for yourself. And, and I also feel like you all are manifesting strength. And you're calling in your power. A magician uses what? Power. I'm just saying. So, there, and look, so as I started shuffling, sun and the moon, right in front of the moon, you got the eight of wands, fast moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. And there's an eight. And I was just talking about the Kraken, which is the octopus. The octopus has eight legs. We are an eight universal year. You got the eight of wands. I feel like this is like people fighting. You know what? I'm, I don't know if you guys ever seen, was it the Avengers? No, Justice League. There's a part where. I believe it's the, yeah, Justice League where Diana, Wonder Woman, her mother, she sends out the little flame, you know, the little thing, and it, it dropped in the sacred place. And one of the women saying, we have not sent out this signal for many years or whatever. They won't know what it means. And her mother, Diana, Wonder Woman's mother said, they won't, but she will. She. <laughs> It's going to be a woman that's going to spearhead this. I want you all to know this. This change, there's going to be someone so fearless that's going to spearhead this change that's not even going to be funny. Not to say, I, I don't care. I'm not trying to put men or pit men against women and things like that. That's not what I'm saying. But what I feel like, because a lot of women feel so attacked, a lot of women feel so belittled, it's going to be a woman that's going to spearhead these changes. Why should I tell you? It's going to be a woman that's going to spearhead these changes. Um... But I'm seeing that scene in my head where the mother sends out the little beacon and, you know, it came on the news. Diana was at work in the, in the museum or whatever. And then she hears on the TV them talking about how there was this fire in this little ancient sacred place or whatever. And she stops dusting off. She turns around, she looks and she says invasion. In other words, like she knows like something is coming. I feel like somebody's going to step in before something gets really, really bad. Before things get really bad. Action. Action is going to happen. Fires by action. Somebody's going to put something into action. And I definitely feel like it's going to be a female figure. Okay. You got the moon. And then up on, <laughs> you got the, the death card again. Yeah. Transformation is coming in for sure. It's a new day. It is a new day. And people are, are not scared to end it all or lose it all. All for the sake of their children's future. Because you do have a page here. Children. I feel like children are going to be a big deciding factor for a lot of people. In regards to what they're going to stand up for, what they're going to do. That's how I feel about things. It, when it comes to my children's future, when it comes to how my children will be affected, I, I don't care about fear. None of that has a place when, when my children, as far as my children and their livelihood is concerned. And when we talk, again, as we're talking about female energy, very maternal. We were born to be maternal in energy, right? And to provide care and love and things like that that's just in our genetic dna now we know all women don't do that they're not good mothers and things like that but just we are meant to nurture that's long story short feminine energy is meant to nurture and i feel like if anything interferes with the possibility of life being nurtured in a happy healthy and harmonious way people are going to step up to the plate it's going to happen and i feel like children children are going to be the main focus and i see this a lot even with a lot of stuff on social media, I feel like that's a, a, the bulk of things that people are really fighting for is their children's future, right? So that they don't have to live in tyranny and things like that. That's a big thing. That's a big focal point here and about their foundation, pinnacles of the foundation. People are focused on their children's future and setting a foundation that's safe for their children. So we want to get the sun. The sun for the collective. You want the sun. There's the sun. <laughs> Did I tell y'all so? Did I say somebody want to play God? Are y'all looking at this? I want y'all to peep game, right? There's no card behind the sun. Right in front of that, you got the king of swords. Here's the thing. Kings and queens, they are in positions of power, authority, okay? Um, if you, the commander in chief is the president. The president happens to be air sign. The president is a Gemini, isn't he? You got them sitting right here. This is someone who wants to have control. But I'm going to say again, this person's going to end up bowing down. If you see how he's sitting, he's not sitting in a castle or anything like that. He's sitting in the clouds. 
And you know how people like to envision heaven is like everything looks like clouds and angels and people, our lovers who have passed on are sitting there lounging and eating grapes on clouds and things like that. He's floating in the clouds. This person wants to sit on the throne. This person wants to play God. Again, for those of you who feel like, oh, you're trying to, you know, bash a person and it's like, pay, pay attention again. Don't step outside of just what you're thinking about. Really look at everything that's right in your face. One thing that I admire and there's not many things. One thing I admire about this individual that I'm talking about right now is that he's always showed you exactly who he was. But people still want to see. Okay, there you go. There's rose colored glasses. Thing. Okay. People keep wanting to see this individual through rose colored glasses. Okay. <laughs> so, in fact, um, the Donald happens to be a magician, if you will. Which, again, I'm not surprised because magician is what? Gemini and Virgo. He has mystified people. He has charmed the shit out of people. And and now, you know, people are starting to see. People are starting to awaken. And now they're about to get into action. Mm -hmm. This person wants to play God sitting there on the throne in the clouds. Like how they say God is sitting. That's exactly what this person is trying to do. Son. Ace of Pentacles. This is interesting. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Huh. I like it. So. With the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this definitely people are going to fight. And and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because again, back to that pinnacle, that's about your foundation, your stability, your values. People, you see how the pinnacle is being held up on his antlers. People are getting ready to uphold their own personal values. And they're going to fight against and they're going to rebel against whatever it is that tyranny. I really want you to like zoom in and look at this person's face. This is someone who wants to have control at all costs, okay? And people are going to fight against them. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. Now, I always say anything is behind something. This is behind this. That's the past. That's over. Initially, people were just trying to think about a game plan, trying to think about what it is they're going to do. But I don't feel like people are going to hold back. And it's not going to be a lot of time. Things are going to move very quickly. Action is going to come in very quickly. Um, it's going to start before this year wraps up. Again, hear what I'm saying because I, I want people not to be ridiculous because I see a lot of comments in the comment section where people are saying like, you're you're trying to tell people to go out here and do violence and I ain't never said nothing like that. I'm not telling you to go to the White House and do this. I'm not telling you to do none of that shit. If you do that, that's on you because I ain't tell you to do nothing like that. What I'm saying is, as far as we are concerned in our own personal life and what we do moving forward, you can only control what you have going on. You can only control your family, your spiritual path, things like that. I'm not telling anybody to go do anything illegal or anything ridiculous. I'm telling you to tap in, okay, and realize that no one has control over what you are meant to do, your purpose, your path. Your path is always, it's already been clear. It's already been divinely aligned. You know, everything's already happened in your soul's contract. So no matter what goes on in the world, you're still fated and destined to go on a certain path. You can't allow things to derail you, but you have free will, so you can, and if you want to, don't allow it to happen. You're too powerful. You Just think about it. This individual would not have been able to get in a position of leadership without your vote, without your consent, because what you all don't know is your free will allows certain things to be consented, regardless of who you voted for. It required us. That's why we're the more powerful than this, in this whole situation. That's where the clash of the titans, because they think they're so powerful, but they don't understand. They're sleeping on how powerful we are. They're going to find out. People are going to rebel. Nine of Cups. This per These people think that they have control over everything. They got everything they want. You see how you sit and smile all smug. They don't even know what's going on behind the scenes. They don't even know how people, people's emotions, Cups is your emotions and feelings. They don't even realize how people's emotions are going to push them into action. Again, I'm going to say don't do something ridiculous to get yourself locked up and, and have your freedom and rights taken away. This is more spiritual. People are always assuming that the next war is going to be physical or between different countries. This is spiritual warfare that we're in right now. That's, that's what we're dealing with at this moment. So let's part the deck. Four of Cups. This is someone who's displeased, someone who's unhappy with, what be, with what's being offered. If you feel displeased, don't take it. You see how he's not reaching out to accept that cup? Don't take it. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. And that's that's the truth right there. So let's go ahead and get a clarifier. We're going to start off with the moon. For the eight of wands, as well as the page of pentacles for the collective. Okay, I heard one more shuffle. Mm, back to this. Then we stop with the king of swords. See, this is someone who wants to, you got the king of swords here. 
And it's upright. This is someone who currently wants to be in control of everything. Let's see what's behind him. <laughs> they want to control everything. This person wants to be the boss. This person actually wants to be a king. In fact, I'm hearing something about this individual, the Donald, wanting to be written into history as a king. And what I also seen with the Bible, it was like a lot of King James version and things like that. But I feel like this, this individual wants to write themselves into history as a king, as a savior. If you think about it, they call him what the great white hope. And, and a lot of people were referring to him as the savior of this nation. So are, are we surprised about why this person has this complex? This person has a God complex. It's very interesting. Again, this is not to attack this person. I'm just telling you the messages that I get. This person has a God complex. And they're about to get took down several or eight. Because we're keeping that eight number, eight notches, okay? So, bottom of the <laughs> eight. Eight of swords in reverse, okay? So, it's being stuck, feeling bound, mental imprisonment for a lot of people. You're going to come out of that. And you're going to get into action. Because a lot of people feel like, I can't, I'm, I'm bound. A lot of people feel bound. They're scared. They don't know. They feel like they're going to be locked in some type of... Um, just it's I won't I don't want to say delusion, but somebody there's a lot of people who are fearful of bondage. You know, that's what I'm getting. Bondage, not having freedoms, not having rights. It's in reverse. Nothing can hold you down. Mm -mm. It's not gonna happen. Let's get a clarify for the eight of wands. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. You may clarify for the eight of wands associated with the moon. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. You may clarify for this. Eight of Wands associated with the moon. Okay. He has a seven of swords sideways. So, not, I'm sorry if I said swords. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is blockages, defensiveness, setting boundaries and sideways. It's interesting because <laughs> you have the Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands sideways. When it flips out a certain way, I take it just like that. So, up right there's blockages. Reverse, the blockages are lifted sideways. It's like there's going to be minor interruptions with the free flow of energy with the free flow of actions. I'm getting minor. It's going to be minor. I'm going to say this again because I said this in the last collective reading, especially with these last two cards being pinnacles. It's, now is the time to start focusing on your finances and your stability. I'm getting a lot of people with relocation. I was talking to someone Saturday at a, at a birthday party that I went to, and she was saying that she's moving out of the country with her children. I was just like, okay. You know, do what you want to do. And she was saying how she was just getting her finances in order. And she was going to leave and things like that. There could be a lot of people talking about relocating your money. Get that in order. You know, because I'm feeling like that's that's a big thing that needs to be taken care of right now. Yeah, your money. <laughs> you got it again. I'm getting ready to clarify this card. You got the same thing and it's upright. Get your money in order. Also, your children... Your children are making you look at your stability a certain way also. Like I said, children are going to be a major um, supporting factor. A major factor as to what a lot of people are doing as far as their future. You see how he's holding that pentacle up and he's looking at it? Because pentacles are not just about money. It's about your domestic life, where you live, your home, things like that. And I do get something as far as travel. People wanting to relocate. Hmm. Let's get a clarifier for the page of pentacles. Universal energies, okay. Look, and you see how I landed? Look. So people want to relocate. Look at him. He has the um the globe in his hand. The globe is talking about, like, you know, that's a symbolism for the world. The world is travel distance for a movement. So it wants someone needing to choose a destination or a direction to go in. In reverse, you ain't gonna have to go no damn well. Because they're gonna get this shit together. Things are gonna get together. So if you if you want them people out there like, I'm leaving this country, I'm leaving this, I'm leaving that, they say, Oh, you ain't going nowhere. Because you ain't gonna have to. You're not going to have to because things are getting ready to shift in a massive way. I'm going to say this real quick. Also, I also heard that somebody who's in a big position, a big position, and I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I kept getting the vice president, the future vice president. Something's going to happen within their family that's going to change. Like they are so harsh about some type of rule or regulation. Something's going to happen with a family member that's going to be extreme. And this going to make them lift something. It's something with health care. It's something with health care and well-being. And it's going to make them lift something. Initially, they're going to try to hide that this happens to their family member, their loved one. But then it's going to come out. When it comes out, this person won't have a, a, but a choice to, you know, lift some type of bullshit that they put out there or that they're trying to implement. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> I said lift and they're bound. 
lift those chains. Hello, Capricorn energy. Wow. So, you know, Capricorn season, we're, when we leave this year, we'll be leaving in Capricorn season. We'll be beginning the next year in Capricorn season. December, January timeframe is Capricorn. So you got the devil is Capricorn. And I'm, I'm just going to have to say this, and I'm not calling this person the devil, but I'm going to say again, this person wants to play God, but this is not, this is the energy they're giving. They're not giving God like energy. They're giving like, if you think about the devil, the devil wants to be like God. The, the, the devil is some people's God, depending on what people worship. This person wants to play God, but this is the energy that they're putting out there. This is the energy that's happening here. Again, I know a lot of people ain't gonna like this message, but I'm just telling you what I'm getting. You guys watch as I shuffle. I don't pull cards. This is just what I'm getting. And I know that because as I'm getting ready to read for this card, because we already got the clarifiers for these, this is the card you got. Right? Yeah. Okay. Just, just, just want to put that out there. So let's get a clarifying for the King of Swords. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Give me a clarifying for the King of Swords associated with the sun. People start working together. Those cups, those equal exchanges. Remember I was talking about Dian, uh, Daniel in Alliance Den? I feel like you all are going to defeat those lions. The, you come out in the belly of the beast. People trying to control you. Working together again. They're getting ready to exchange their cups. I'm telling you, I've said this before. People who were never willing to work together before. Because even if you look, again, it's behind. This is the past. It's like, no, I won't work with these people. Her arms are crossed. I won't work with these people. I don't care about anybody else. Only my own and this, that, and the other thing. It's behind that. People who are initially saying no, because that's crossing, that's blocking some out. No. People who are originally saying no to something, working together. You know you got these tools. They know it. It's numbers. There's power in numbers. There's power in numbers here. So, with this King of Swords, you had a two of cups. Hmm. Something also going to come out about y'all commanding in chief with his love life, which I, I don't think we all surprised about that. I, every time I see clips of how that woman be swatting his hand or if he tries to kiss her and she kind of dodge, like she playing dodgeball, I chuckle real good because it's like, you can only play a role for so long and that woman do not want to be bothered with that man. <laughs> and that's, that speaks volumes right there. You, your, your husband is probably by far one of the most powerful people around and it's like, you still don't care. Again, something about a woman energy Something with a woman's energy that is very strong. And I'm, I'm getting fearless, strong, fearless women. And I'm not saying her in general, but it's just like, even she can't fake the funk. You know what I'm saying? So why should we? Even for the camera, she knows. And I know they see the memes. He sees them because he, he speaks on it, right? She ain't even going to play into it. She's like, oh, don't kiss me, don't touch me. She Look, I'm telling you, a lot of people ain't going to be playing. Now, with this King of Swords and then this Two of Cups, again, I'm going to say, a lot of people who were first at eyes, like, I can't see myself. She's blindfolded. I can't see myself working with these people. Oh, y'all going to get to working together. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Ten of Pentacles. I, I'm getting, like, deals made behind the scenes also. With our currency, something's going on with that also. Making deals with different countries. Something that's going to affect our currency. I'm getting that as well. Because our last two cards is currency. They have the Ten of Pentacles. There could be an ending to our financial system, something with our financial systems, because Ten is about endings, but there's going to be a, a start of something else, too. Discussions of a, a new way as far as the financial systems go. I'm getting that also. Five of Pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold, upright, in reverse. There's no lack. You will not experience lack. You won't. And that's very powerful as well. Again, you're keeping all this pinnacle stuff. You have the Ten of Pentacles just a minute ago, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Tradition. Pentacles is also traditional energy. There's going to be a change to, to, to traditional outlooks of things, traditional values. And also, a lot of people want to live in tradition, but even with him just changing certain things in that Bible, you that changed. You know, he's calling himself beginning a new tradition. Because he knows he has followers, you know, and, and, and his followers been, have been seen as cult, you know, almost cultish. And again, I'm not, I don't care what anybody believes in. I'm not against anyone. I'm just speaking about what I've seen. And so he knows that he knows he has massive groups of followers. So then that new tradition that he's bringing with whatever text that he puts in there, that's what he's hoping is going to be played out. And it's interesting enough, because like I said, with the whole bringing religion back into school, 
I haven't read about it, but I'm wondering if that Bible specifically <laughs> is going to be the teachings or text out of that, that, that specific Bible is going to be those teachings. That's very interesting. I'm going to look into that. And I suggest you all do too, because it came up for a reason. Ace of Pentacles, Universal Energies of Light, Love, and Divine Protection. Give me a clarifying for Ace of Pentacles associated with the sun. Keep in mind, the sun also talks about a brand new day. It also shines a light on everything. Whatever was hidden, it shines a light. Okay. Had a card that flipped out. Back to that too. Yep. So it's like cutting out. Because swords cut things out. Cutting out traditional belief systems. And I feel like for a lot of y'all, you're just not going to, you're not going to take bullshit. Because even though she has her swords crossing her arm, her swords is up like she's ready for whatever. She's ready to defend herself. And then I say, I feel like there's going to be a strong female figure who's like, I don't even care if I don't see the future. Because she's looking in front of us. The, in front of you is the future. Behind you is the past. I don't care if I don't, I will never see another day in my future. I'm fearless. I do not care. I'm going to keep pushing anyway. Whatever it is I need to do. And when I say this, this is, this is true stuff. And you got to see it yourself. Anytime people rebel against the system, somehow they end up unalive or they, they end up not here. This is not no you know, BS about social media, what everybody believes. If you really look at it in history, people who dare to stand up against tyranny, people who dare to stand up against opposition or just evil deeds, anybody who dared to stand up, they're no longer here. They, they, they didn't live long enough to talk about it, right? And I feel like there's going to be someone like, I know that something's going to happen. I know that every corner I, you know, go around, I'm likely never to come back from that or that something's going to happen or I'm going to get tossed in jail or something like, you know, anything is going to happen because I'm, I'm not abiding by the status quo or what I'm being told. I know that, but I'm still ready to fight. I know that and I'm still ready to rebel. I know that and I'm still ready to act in a manner in which I know I'm guided to. And I also want you guys to peep here in this reading in general, two, two, two. You got three twos here. So you may be seeing angel number two, two, two. I'm going to tell you, I've been seeing two. That's interesting. I've been seeing two, two, two for the past couple days. Two, 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 and three, eleven. I've been seeing for the past couple days. Matter of fact, with that two, 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 it's been going on like a week or so that I've been seeing that. So look up angel number two, 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 read the message. I feel like there's messages that I haven't even talked about today that you're going to, you know, it's going to resonate with you when you read that. Two, two, two is an archangel number. So there's divine protection associated with this. Just looking at this eight again. <laughs> okay, so I always when I look at this, if you see there's flock, there's a flock of sheep, and it's like if you think about it, they follow each other. They just follow. They just all go in the same direction. Very rarely do they navigate off the path. But if you look at it, you have all of these sheep here. But this one sheep right here has wandered away from the crowd. Again, this is rebellion. There's a lot of people who are going to rebel. I'm going to say this one more time because I don't want people going out here saying that Queen Airbender is saying, go out here and do something illegal and things like that. Mm -mm. When I say rebellion, it's like not following what everybody else is doing because of fear or because it's the traditional way to do things. That's changing. This whole system is changing. Everything is changing. When we leave 2024, we will never be the same. Our belief, our spiritual vitality, the way we, we live internally, externally, is never going to be the same. You can look the same on the outside, but you will forever be changed because these shifts won't allow for anything less. You're going to be changed. And I feel like it's positive. It's, I'm not getting negative at all. There's a brand new star. Ace is our brand new star. And it's a gift from the universe. The universe is dropping down. Giving you valuable gems. If you notice... Pentacles hold value. You got gems around that pentacle. The universe is dropping gems. But you got to have your antennas up so you can hear it. So you can be tuned in. That's exactly what needs to happen here. Again, fear is going to lower your vibration. So you can't allow fear to weigh you down. Get out in nature. Ground yourself. Regardless of wherever you are, get out in nature and ground yourself. Or get, if you can't be in nature for whatever reason, get, get a connection. Start building a connection with herbs and things like that. That helps calm your energy, grounds your energy, connects you with, with Mother Earth. 
Mother Earth about to do his thing too. Guy about to do a damn thing. That's about to happen. I'm telling you, it's, it's, I'm getting a lot of messages here, but this reading is already going on much longer than I wanted to go. But I have to give you guys those messages. So I hope if it resonates with you, you sit down and meditate on it and just tap in and work on removing that fear based energy because I'm feeling heightened fear based energy everywhere. It has no place for those of us who know, you know, that there's something more beyond what we're seeing. What I'm seeing is that they're putting out fear-based energy. Fear-based energy is what they're feeding you. That's what's being fed. Every time I see updates from the White House and things like that, it's always like heavy negative stuff. Like, I'm going to do this and we're going to take that. And we're going to stop that, and that. But it's never really positive stuff. You know what I mean? It's just saying how they're going to control people. And I feel like right now, somebody's wheels is turning like, oh, this is this is how we're going to rebel against this. This is how we're going to stop this from happening. This is how we're going to heal things. It's all about healing. Healing needs to happen for us as a collective. It needs to happen. And it will. Trust me. It will. So thank you guys so much for watching Queen Airbin and Tarot. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.